Welcome back to Kittens and Crochet YouTube channel. First, I want to take the time to thank my subscribers and anybody who takes the time to watch and like my videos. You guys are awesome. Also, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the next projects I'm going to be adding. Um, I'm calling them crochet cuties because they're tiny and they're cute. But what's pretty cool about them is they all use the same body. So the video that you're about to watch is how to make the body. And then as I add the tutorials on how to make the specific animals, I will add the link in the description. Also, I will have them in their own little playlist called Crochet Cuties. So you can look through the playlist and see which videos I've added. And then go ahead and make these cute little guys. So these are the four patterns that I've had so far. There will be more, but go ahead and check them out and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the body of one of these cuties. The things that you will need is any color Red Heart Super Saver yarn or equivalent. A four and a half millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, scissors, a marker, and some washable stuffing. These supplies are just what's needed to make the body. So when you go on your video on what animal that you want to make, there will be additional supplies. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get started with the legs. So I'll call this first leg, leg A. Go ahead and make a magic circle with six stitches. Okay, for row two, we're going to put one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So one in the first and then two in the second. And then just repeat that all the way around. Okay, so that's the end of row two, and you now have nine stitches. Row three is going to be one row even, so one single crochet, but it's only in the front loops. So if you've never done this before, each stitch has two loops, a front and a back. You're just going to work in the front loops. So one in each of them. So one, two, All right, and that's the end of row three, and you still have nine stitches because we didn't increase. 
Okay, so row four is going to be one row even, but then you're also going to catch these back loops from the previous row. So how we only did the front loops in this last row. So if you look, here's the stitch that we just made. And then if you look behind it, you can see this back loop that was left over right here. So you're just going to go into the stitch and then reach back and grab that back loop. So you'll have three loops. Well, you'll have four if you count the one on your hook. And then just pull through all of them and make a single crochet. All right, at my last one here. Okay, so that's the end of row four. You should still have nine because we didn't increase or decrease. So you can check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, moving on to row five. Row five is gonna be one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So one in the first. One in the second. And then two into this third. And then we're going to just repeat that all the way around. So one in the first, one in the second, two in the third. One in the first, one in the second, and two in the last stitch. So that's the end of row five, and you should now have 12 stitches. I cut this yarn tail shorter because it's getting in my way. Okay, row six is going to be one row even. So one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. Okay, so that's the end of row six, and this is actually the end of leg A, so don't slip stitch, just cut yourself like a little yarn tail about like that, go ahead and seal it off. 
Okay, so that's leg A done. So go ahead and set this aside. And we're going to move on to leg B. Which leg B to all the way to row 6 is the same. So start with a magic circle with 6 stitches. 1, 2, Three, four, five, and six. Row two is one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets into the next stitch. So one in the first, and then two in the second. And then just repeat this all the way around. One in the first, two in the second, one in the first, and two in this last stitch. So that's the end of row two, and you now have nine stitches around. So row three is one row even in the front loops only. So just place one single crochet in each of the front loops. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine. Okay, for row four, we're going to do one single row even, but also catching the back loops from the previous row. Again, you still only have nine stitches around. All right, so that's the end of row four. 
and you still have nine stitches. So row five is one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So one in the first, one in the second, and two in the third. One in the first, one in the second, and two in the third. One in the first, one in the second, and then two in this last stitch. And that's the end of row five, and you now have 12 stitches around. So row six is just one row even. So just one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches around. And that's the end of row six. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put like a little bit of stuffing in these legs. Not too much, because you still have to crochet through them. You don't wanna pull it out. Okay, so this is where you ended and finished off leg A. So leg B, you're gonna leave on your hook and we're just gonna go to row seven. Row seven is we're going to chain one and then in the next stitch, which would have been the next row of leg A, you're gonna go into that. So right after where you finished off. And it's just going to be one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches of leg A. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12. So now we're at the end of leg A. You're going to chain one and then we're going to go into the next stitch of leg B which is the next stitch of the row right here and you're just going to put one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches of leg B. So that's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is right where your marker is. And that's the end of row seven, and you now have twenty six stitches around because you have two chain ones and 12 stitches on each leg. Row eight is going to be two half double crochets in the chain one stitch. So this is our chain one stitch right here. You're just going to go into that. And you're going to do two half double crochets in that stitch. There's one, and there's 
there's two. In the next stitch, you're gonna do one half double crochet. So this is the first stitch here of leg A. You're gonna do one half double crochet. Now we're gonna place one single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. So now we're gonna repeat what we just did. So you'll see we're now to a chain one again. So put two half double crochets in this chain one. And I know this yarn tail can get annoying, but you're gonna use the, this to seal up the legs. So don't cut it just yet. Okay, so after you get your two half double crochets in that chain one spot, the next stitch is one half double crochet. And now there are 11 stitches left. You're just gonna put one single crochet in each of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So that's the end of our eight and you now have twenty-eight stitches around. Okay, so this is row nine. So we're gonna do one single crochet in the first two stitches. So one in the first, one in the second. For this third stitch, we're gonna put two single crochets in it. So one, two. Now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. And now in this next stitch, put two single crochets. Now you're gonna put one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you're gonna place two single crochets in this next stitch. And now we're gonna place one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one, two, and then two single crochets in the next stitch. And now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and two single crochets in the next stitch. And now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then two single crochets into this last stitch. And that's the end of our nine, and you now should have 34 stitches around. So row 10 is one row even. So just one single crochet in each of the 34 stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, and thirty four. And that's the end of row 10. Row 11 is also one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. And that's the end of row 11. And row 12 is also one row even. And this is going to be our last row even. So 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 and 34. So go ahead and just pull up your yarn and we're going to go ahead and seal this hole closed.
Okay, so just get the yarn tail, put it on a yarn needle. And you're just gonna go pretty much into the parallel stitches here. And I like to double them up just to make sure they're nice and secure. Okay, so once your hole is sealed up, I like to go in the inside and just find a stitch that's nearby and not off on it. And then I take the yarn tail and just weave it in just a bit and then snip it free. So now our hole is closed, and now we're also going to start adding some stuffing. So now you can just finish stuffing the legs. And then just add a little bit of stuffing here, which this might yeah, it's too much. It's just going to fall out. So as long as you finish stuffing the legs, kind of get that area done. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move on to row 13. Row 13 is going to be one single crochet in the first nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're going to crochet two together. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next 15 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15 and now crochet two together and now there are six stitches remaining so just place one single crochet in each of them so one two three four five and six so that's the end of row 13 and you now have 32 stitches around. Row 14 is going to be one single crochet in the first six stitches and then two together and we'll repeat that all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six and then two together and then repeat one two three four five six and then two together one two three four five six and then two together one two three four five six and then these last two stitches together so that's the end of row 14 and you now have 28 stitches around Row 15 is one single crochet in the first nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and then crochet two together and now we're going to do one single crochet in the next 12 stitches one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and now crochet two together. And then you have three stitches left, so just place one single crochet in the next three stitches. And that's the end of row 15, and you should now have 26 stitches around. Row 16 is one single crochet in the first nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two together. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then crochet two together. And now you have two stitches remaining, so just put one single crochet in the next two stitches. And that's the end of row 16, and you now have 24 stitches around. Row 17 is one single crochet in the first nine stitches. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then crochet two together. And then it's going to be one single crochet in the next 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, peanut. Eight. <laughs> Nine. And ten. And then you're going to crochet two together. And now you have one stitch left. So just place one single crochet in that remaining stitch. So that's the end of row 17, and you now have 22 stitches around. So we're going to go ahead and stuff the body. Okay, so once the body is stuffed, we're now going to move on to row 18. Row 18 is one single crochet in the first nine stitches, and then two together, and then you just repeat that again. So, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two together, and then repeat. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And two together. So that's the end of row 18 and you now have 20 stitches around. Row 19 is going to be one single crochet in the first eight stitches and then two together, and then we're just going to repeat that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and two together 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two together. And that's the end of our 19. And you now have 18 stitches around. Row 20 is one single crochet in the first seven stitches and then two together. And then we're going to repeat that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then these last two together. And you now have 16 stitches around, and this is the last row of the body, so go ahead and slip stitch into your next stitch, and then just cut a shorter yarn tail. And pull it through. And now we're going to finish stuffing the body. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish stuffing this. Okay, so you don't want to fill all the way to the top just yet. You'll do that as you add the head on because we'll still have to attach a head. So your body is made, so go ahead and set that aside for now. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to making the head. To start the head, you're gonna make a magic circle with six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. For row two, you're just going to put two single crochets in each of the six stitches around. So you'll end up with a total of 12. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that is the end of row two. Row three is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch. So one in the first and then two in the second. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. So one, 
and then two, one, and then two, one, and then two, one, and then two, one, and then two in this last stitch. So that's the end of row three, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row 24 is going to be one in the first two stitches and then two into the third one. So one in the first, one in the second, and then two into the third. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one, one, and then two, 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 one, one, and then two in this last stitch. So that's the end of row four and you now have 24 stitches around. Row five is going to be one single crochet in the first three stitches and then two in the next stitch. So one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and then two into this fourth stitch. And then we're just going to repeat that. So one, 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 and then two, 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 and one more time, one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two into this last stitch. And that's the end of row five, and we now have 30 stitches around. Okay, moving on to row six, we're gonna put one single crochet in the first seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then in this next stitch, we're gonna put two single crochets. Peanut butter. Oh my goodness gracious. So we did one single crochet in the first seven, and now we're going to go ahead and put two single crochets into this ace stitch here.
and then we're going to go ahead and repeat that. Do one in seven. One, two, three, four, Seven, and then we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Now we're going to do one single crochet in the first six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do one in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Here, lay down and watch me. And six. And then two single crochets in this last stitch. And that's the end of row six. And you now have 34 stitches around. So rows seven through 10 are going to be working rows even. So just one single crochet in each of the 34 stitches. Okay, so this is row seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. So that's the end of row 7. This is row 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, Peanut does not know how to share camera time right now. Do you, Peanut? Ten, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, <laughs> 31, 32, 33, and 34. And that's the end of row 8, and this is row 9. Peanut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, and thirty four. Okay, so that's the end of row nine. This is row ten, which is our final row, even. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. Yay, we finally got through all four rows even. For row 11, we're going to do one single crochet in the first seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
And now we're going to crochet two together. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the first seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and crochet two together. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then crochet two together. And then we're going to do one in the first six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now we're going to crochet two together. And that is the end of row 11, and you now have 30 stitches around. Row 12 is going to be one single crochet in the first three stitches and then two together and you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and then two together. And then just repeat this all the way around. One, 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 and then two together. One, 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 and two together. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, two together. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two together. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two together. That's the end of row 12, and you now have 24 stitches around. Row 13 is going to be one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two together. So one in the first, one in the second, and then two together. And you're just going to repeat this all the way around. One in the first, one in the second, Two together, one in the first, one in the second, two together, one in the first, one in the second, two together, one in the first, one in the second, two together, one in the first, one in the second, these last two together, And that's the end of row 13, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row 14 is going to be one single crochet in the first seven stitches, and then two together, and you're going to repeat that all the way around. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and then two together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two together. Okay, so that is the end of row 14. You now have 16 stitches around. You're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're going to finish off leaving a, a long yarn tail because you're going to use it to attach the head to the body. So just make sure your starting circle is all tight and you can cut the center yarn tail shorter. And now we're just going to go ahead and stuff the head. You want a nice round head. Okay. So now you have the head stuffed. Go ahead and set it aside with the body. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the arms. To start the arms, make a magic circle with six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. For row two, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So one in the first. And two in the second. And just repeat that. One in the first. Two in the second. One in the first. And two in this last stitch. So that's the end of row two, and you now have nine stitches around. So rows three through nine, which are the next seven stitches, is just going to be one row even. So one single crochet in each of the nine stitches. So this is row three. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's the end of row three. This is row four, and you might have to roll your arm out there. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's the end of row four, and this is row five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's the end of row five, and this is row six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. That's the end of verse six, and this is verse seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and nine. That's the end of row seven, and this is row eight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine, and that's the end of row eight, and this is row nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now we're going to go ahead and stuff the arm. So you're just going to take a little bit of stuffing, not very much at all. And you're just stuffing the little hand area. Just like that. Not very much. And now we're going to seal this off. So we're going to single crochet it closed. So just go into the next stitch and go all the way through and single crochet and just do that for the next three stitches. Okay, so now the arm is sealed shut. Cut a long yarn tail and pull it through. Okay, so go ahead and set this arm aside and we'll begin making the second arm. To start the arms, make a magic circle with six stitches. So one, two, 
two, three, four, five, and six. For row two, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So one in the first, and two in the second, and just repeat that. One in the first, two in the second, one in the first, and two in this last stitch. So that's the end of our two and you now have nine stitches around. So rows three through nine, which are the next seven stitches, is just going to be one row even. So one single crochet in each of the nine stitches. So this is row three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's the end of row three. This is row four, and you might have to roll your arm out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's the end of row four, and this is row five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's the end of row five and this is row six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the end of row six, and this is row seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's the end of row seven, and this is row eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
seven, eight. and nine and that's the end of row eight and this is row nine one two three four five six seven eight And nine. So now we're going to go ahead and stuff the arm. So you're just going to take a little bit of stuffing, not very much at all. And you're just stuffing the little hand area. Just like that, not very much. And now we're going to seal this off so we're going to single crochet it closed. So just go into the next stitch and go all the way through and single crochet and just do that for the next three stitches. Okay, so now the arm is sealed shut. Cut a long yarn tail. And pull it through. Okay, so now you should have both arms made. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble our body. Okay, now we have all the pieces made for our body. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble it. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this yarn tail, the short one that's attached to the body. So just go down through the body. Just to make it disappear. Okay, so now take the long yarn tail that is attached to the head and there are 16 stitches to the head and 16 stitches to the neck area. So you're just going to go into a stitch of the body. And I like to double it up. You go back through the head. Be careful not to pull stuffing out like I just did. And then back into that same stitch of the body. And pull it. And now I'm going to go up through the next stitch of the head. and then down into the next stitch of the body. And then just keep repeating this, going into the next stitch of the head, and down to the body.
So you see as you're working that it is attaching the head to the body. Once we get closer to the end, we'll add more stuffing in this area. So for now, just go ahead and continue. Okay, so now I'm going to add some more stuffing. <clears throat> Most of the stuffing you would have had to add to the body area, but you could add some up into the head area too. Okay, so once you're satisfied with your stuffing, go ahead and continue attaching the head. And we're getting to the end here. And there you go. Our head is attached. So now you can just find a nearby stitch to knot off on. And then take your yarn tail in and away and take it down through the bottom. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and attach the arms now. So you can kind of find which side of the body you like the most to make the, your front. So I'm kind of liking this side. So the arms are going to be attached at approximately row 19 of the body. So if you want to count up from the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And it's one row below where you attach the head. So you're going to attach them where you can see the row of single crochet where we sealed it shut. So if you look, that's the back and this is the front. So you can kind of just hold them in place. I freehand my arms. You can pin them if you want. But they're going to be attached about right there. So I like this placement. 
think it's a little bit more forward like than the back they're a little farther back so about right here so I'm just gonna attach one at a time And for the arms, I find it easier not to pin them down, but if you want, you can use pins to hold them in place as you attach them. Okay, so I went into the body and out in the front. Now I'm going to go through the same hole I came through to line it up where I need to go into the next stitch of the arm. So I went back into the body and then I popped out through the body through the arm and just like that now I'm gonna go back into the body and I'm gonna pop out right where that first stitch is so now your arm is lightly attached so next I'm just going to go into the next stitch, the arm, and straight into the body, and then push it out the side. And then I'm going to go right back in that hole, and come out to the next stitch of the arm. I'm going to go backwards one stitch. And pull it through and then I'm going to come up through that last stitch of the arm and then backwards again just go straight through and so my arm is attached so when you're satisfied that your arm is secured I like to go right up underneath the armpit and then I find a stitch to knot off on and then I go back down through the body and take it down and away. And then just cut that free. So there is one arm attached. And we're just going to attach the second arm the same way. So just kind of hold it. Make sure you're satisfied. I'm going to look it over real fast close to me. I like to look to like down the down the legs to make sure it's lined up. Okay, so when you're satisfied with where it is, you can go ahead and begin attaching it.
Okay, so after you get your second arm attached, just go ahead and make sure it's secured and you're happy with it. And then go to a stitch under the armpit. And knot off. And then take it down and away. All right, and now you've completed the body for your cutie. So in the description, I will have links to the different animals as I add them. So these are the four animals again that I have patterns ready for. So as I upload the videos, I will add their links in the description. And you can also go to the cuties, crochet cuties playlist to find the animal that you want to create. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like this video.